Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a nice day. The video you just watched is from the festival I filmed last year, Fong in the Forest. In that festival, I used too many transitions and one of the transitions I use is the masking technique. That is the technique I'm going to show you today for this video. I'm Jose Daniel and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Now we are ready to go into Premiere Pro and see what we can do it. Here in Premiere Pro, I have two clips that we are going to use. Those clips are 60 frames per second and we are going to apply some speed run. If you want to know how to do the frame rates and how to apply speed run, go and check out the videos here on the top where I explain you step by step how to apply speed run and how to apply frame rates. Now let's go to the timeline and see what we can do. If we play, you can notice the video is in a slow motion as I converted into 23976 frames per rate. Sometimes if you film the footage in 24 or maybe in 60, but the action is really fast, you don't need to apply speed run. So this is an option. We are going to find where is the place that we can start seeing the next clip and we can start seeing the transition. So we are going to look here after the tree where we can start seeing that space. And for that, we are going to apply the speed run, but I already applied in this clip here in the bottom is the same clip, but with the speed run. You can see it right now, if I play, it just go quickly when the tree is gone. We are going to start looking for the place where we can start seeing the transition. So it's that frame here. So when you apply the speed run into the footage, the next thing you have to do, if we click and we go to effect control panels to apply the mask, we are going to use here where it says opacity. You can notice we have three options to apply the mask. But first, to be able to do it, because when, if we apply it right now, it's not going to match with the speed run. And go here to the timeline, selecting the clip we are going to work with, and then right click, we are going to apply a nest. This is going to create a sequence just for this specific clip, and we're going to press OK. So if we want to add or modify that specific clip, we just double click and we go for that specific footage. So let's go back to the sequence we are working with. And now we can start doing and applying our mask. For that, we need more space to see outside of the clip. And here in the program monitor, we are going to go here and you can work with 50 or you can work with 25%. This is going to zoom up a little bit and then you will have more space outside of the clip. Now we are ready to start doing our mask. We are going to select the pen tool and we just going to start drawing the mask just outside of the clip. You can add more points after. So now we have here our mask. You can see now it's black. You don't have anything there. So what we need to do to apply this technique, you have to position the footage. It's like Photoshop. You have it's working as a layers, right? So you have to position that footage on top and then the other footage you want to start seeing after the transition, you have to apply on the bottom of that footage. So we are going to select the next footage and we are going to position this footage just under the other footage. You can notice we start seeing that footage. We haven't applied the transition. So we go back here to effect control panel and we are going to select the mask and we are going to press invert. This is going to invert the clip. So now whatever is inside the mask is going to be shown from the click below and what is outside of the mask is going to be shown for the actual footage. The next thing we have to do is just click here where it says the mask path and this is going to start creating keyframes for every modification we make for the mask. So now we select here again the mask and then we are going to select here to move forward one frame and you can see we we start seeing the end of the tree and is there where we are going to start applying the mask. So if we move this mask, you can see you can start seeing the clip below. But then we need to do some max further and this is going to be the softness of the edge of that mask. You can do it as much as you want or you wish, depending on what you are looking for. And the next thing we are going to move one keyframe more and we're just selecting the points, we are going to start moving our clips. Let's move again. You can notice the mask is moving everything. So you, sometimes you have to move these points a little bit farther 
just to avoid some issues with the masking. If you need to make some curve or anything else, you just you can come here. You can see the pen tool is activate and it says plus. You can take some extra. You can put some extra points, and then with the hand you can move the masking wherever you want. Just press Command C. If you hold Alt or Option and then you position here in the dot you can see it's an arrow and now if you click you can notice you can make some curve so then you can release the option or alt and then you can see you can make some curve you can make it longer shorter it will depend of what you're looking for just be careful if you apply some dots in some previous keyframes you have to keep the dots you apply because if you carry on working doing some keyframes for example if you make some more keyframes but then you don't need this curve here and you want to delete it you can do it just pressing command or control and then you can delete it but if you move back you notice that point is deleted from everywhere so if you don't need anything else, just make it as you want, but don't delete the points you need in previous keyframes. So make sure you just keep the points and it's going to look better. So now in this case, we don't need this point here. We are going to delete it and we are going to carry on working. Don't worry if you apply the, those keyframes and then you need to make some modification because if you move forward, just modify the mask and this is going to update that keyframe so we are going to use this one here let's carry on masking so now let's see how it looks so let's go back here let's go to the beginning uh, let's just press here fit and let's press play you notice that is really really smooth you almost can see it so let's press play again so then remember to apply some sound effects some swoosh and then it will look more natural is like something happening like and then you need to apply those sound effects for the forest as well some music and other sounds you might think applies to this specific footage so let's see one more time and you can notice really really smooth so those are the transitions i use in the funk in the forest festival in the video i filmed last year you can apply this for example when you're filming you can make these transitions if someone for example pass front of you and sometimes we are filming and thinking oh that person just crossed in front of the footage and the filming and ruined everything but you never know sometimes that is going to be a really great opportunity to make this kind of transitions you can use that person just pass in front of you as the transition for your next clip or you can make it with movement of the camera and that is going to be really really well and smooth depending on what you are looking for so that's it for today guys i hope you like this video hit the like button leave your comment below don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video peace